Welcome in the closet, people. We're here. We are here. We're ready. Um. Day five. Is it day five? It's day five. Right? Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Yes. Monday. Day, day five. five. I've got to remember that the camera is on us right now so I don't do anything stupid. Like, pick my toes. Or your nose. Or my nose. I know, that's why I kind of came in in a zang angle. A so zangle. Can, a zangle. I'm at a zangle, so I can see the camera. We got the GoPro back out. We got the YouTube channel up. I'm going to open these curtains for a hot minute. I don't Not even care. Not a bad idea. I don't even care. There's got, a little bit of sun out right now. It's it's 7 it's odd. at night. But so, I, we got the YouTube channel rolling. We're trying to keep content on the YouTube channel. So, we're getting some... Actually, we're getting some people to subscribe and comment on things, which is nice. Yeah, we need to it's keep that nice. going. We need to keep that going. And I don't know if I'm gonna, if I want to post when we do a video of a podcast like this. I'm gonna vote, post this one and the audio, and just specify that they're separate. Like, if you want to watch us, hmm. here's the video. Here's the video of us. If you want to listen to just the audio, here's the audio. Or should I just throw this one? I would in just there? throw the video, and I wouldn't double do it. Just throw this one on as long as it sounds good. As long as it sounds good. Got it. Get it? We gotta make sure the sound's good because I know that's the one place some people, the only place some people listen to the podcast. So we gotta make sure the sound's good. Well, if the sound's not good, then no. Okay, anyway, we can talk about this later. What is up? We are on day five of this, whatever you wanna call it. I hate that word. Of this, um, stay put, people. S P P. Stay put, people. If that makes you feel any better, we'll go with that. Yeah, get out with SPP. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah know you know me. me. Get out with SPP. I could start something. I just think quarantine is such a negative. I mean, it's not great we have to stay in our house, but quarantine sounds like so scary to me. We're being quarantined. Hey, y'all, just stay in your houses for a while. See how much well, See how much lighter I could make things? The governor needs to hire me to lighten the mood a little bit. You know, basically what the governor's saying, you guys, is just stay put for a little while. Let's let this thing pass. Let's protect ourselves, you know, and it's going to be okay. Instead of, we are in a quarantine. This is bad. It is really, really bad. And whatever he else he says, the stupid. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. I, I mean, he's doing the best job he can, I'm sure. Oh, he's doing the but best he can. In every way, in every way, shape, fashion, or form, was that what he said? Just every... Something like that. I don't oh know. I don't know. It was good that today when they got on there, they actually had other people and they kind of kept the mic away from his mouth. Well, yeah, and then they had people as asking as questions, possible. reporters asking some pretty good questions, some pretty stupid questions as well. But it's what we want to know. But anyway, um, yes, we are in day five of who knows how many. Um, I guess till they see down the road. Uh, What's going to go on with this curve? You know what I'm saying? If it's going to improve. squash that curve. Yeah. Here's my fear that it does improve and then they let up a little bit and then it spikes. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind to hunker down and stay put. I don't, I don't mind to get down with the SPP for a while. You know, for a, let's make sure we're good before we let up, right? I agree. But it's not that bad, you know, and that's the thing. If people will, will do it, will do what they are saying to do. This is not that bad. We can get out. We can get to stores. Sure, you can't go to the movies. Sure, you can't go to, the to your favorite restaurant or to the gym. And that's not awesome. No, it sucks pretty much. But, but you know what? It's a good time for us to reset. Kind of reset our values. Reset our focus. Maybe spend some more time with our families. Maybe spend some more time, you know, is not that... being distracted. I think sometimes we can get distracted by a routine and we're not as... Right. Efficient with things in life that we should be, or we're not as present in thing with, with things in our life as we should be, and that includes your goals and your objectives in life. Sometimes we get distracted by our routine; it takes us out of the focus that we need to be in. If that makes sense, that's true. But with me, it's it's really hard because I'm a very routine oriented person. Um, change is not easy for me. So this has been, it's like we said, day five, and I'm still not in in my swing of things yet. I've got to refocus readjust the way I do things. I'm going to try to start some online or some virtual training, play around with that, organizing that tomorrow. It might not get kicked off until officially until, you know, what's tomorrow, Tuesday? Oh, maybe in a couple of days. But anyway, it's just hard to, to reorganize what you do because you got to do it at home. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 
but and doing anything at home is always a little harder if you ask me. I, I agree, unless you're already used to I mean for some of this, you know, some people aren't even affected by this necessarily because they're homebodies, they don't like to go out and do anything anyway, and they already work from home. So, you know, That's for them true. it's like what well, this is no different for me. Uh but you know, anyway. That's how corn dog is. But I'm sure I mean, you know, you can't he get did a that restaurant. For nine and, years, so Yeah. He's kinda used to the whole I suppose. But not being able to just go out and be like, hey, let's go grab a, let's go grab a drink in a bar. It, it kind of, it's a little bit disheartening, you know, but it, it'll be all right. It's just temporary. This is not a permanent situation, so. Yeah, I know. I think it's funny how some people are really freaking out. And I think it's probably because of some of the media. Um, oh, but, you know, people, people freaking out like this is going to change our lives and we're never going to be able to do some of the things we used to be able to do, which I don't necessarily think that's the case at all. You don't necessarily... I don't think that's the case at all. I mean, we've gone through stuff, maybe not to this this big of a deal before, and it's gone back. I mean, you know, the year 2000, everybody thought the computers were going to stop working and everything was... You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, also, with the swine flu back in whatever year that was. It was 2009. Um, I, I, of course, it wasn't to this... It, this is a little bit different than what we've ever had to go through, but we always... It'll be fine. We're yeah. resilient people. We're always anyway, going to bounce back. I don't want to talk the whole podcast about this. I try on our outlets, like on our TikTok and on my social media and stuff, I try to stay away from talking about it because, you know, I don't want to be a source of every time you turn something on, you're talking about it. I want to be like, I'm going to go, I want people to say, I'm going to go to Angie's page or I'm going to go to Angie's TikTok or I'm going to listen to In the Closet because they aren't dwelling on it and I need to get away from that. I need to... You know, this morning I opened up my phone. And I mean, I didn't even open it up. I just like tapped it to see what time it was. And you know how the, your notifications are up there? Yep. There was like three or four news notification of all I saw was Corona, 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 COVID-19. All this stuff. Right when I wake up. You know what I'm saying? Like right yep. when I wake up. I want to be a source of a place that Positive people can energy. go that they are not going to have to hear about it. We're going to do our thing. And, and it's not going to be focused on that. And I'm not on Facebook still. I broke up with Facebook. I think I told the story because of all the negativity and misinformation. And I've, I've felt so much better about it. I just, I, I try to get updated in the morning with the news. Okay. I try to, if, if the governor comes on, I'll listen. And then at night in the evening, like probably here, when we get off here, I'll, I'll look one more time to see if there's any updates. And then that's it. Like people just like dwell on it all day long. It's, it's just, we've got to stop doing that. It, our, our mental health needs us to focus on some more positive things and you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Anyway, sorry, I didn't mean to rant. Keep touching my face. What I did do today is like, as you all know, I go, I go live on TikTok in, in the mornings, which the nice thing about this kind of staying home is I can give a time slot so everybody knows when to expect me. This is true. And y'all on the, on the uh, podcast here might be like, oh my gosh, well, here she goes again with TikTok. Well, it is a huge platform, you guys. It's, it's a great platform that you can use to spread some cheer, to spread, like, I like to talk fitness and nutrition in the morning, and then we you have fun at night. You promote your brand. You're promoting your brand, right. whatever you are. That's what you're promoting. Right. But it's, the, f sorry, go ahead. It's just a very big platform. It, it, it blows the other ones out of the water from a reach perspective, from a touch perspective. It's worldwide, and um, it's a very easy way to communicate and get your message out there. So, yeah, you, your brand is growing yeah. because you've got 27,000 thousand people that follow you. Right. And then in, in, in the evenings when you do your live, you've got, you know, in a conversation, 70 plus people at a time. Right. Last night we, in our conversation we had, we were, we, were, we were trying to spread some cheer. So we were playing Pictionary. It was fun. And yeah, there were 70 people at a time on there watching and talking. But when we turned it off, we had reached over almost 4,000 people, Right. Yes, was that throughout it? the evening so, that we were playing, 4,000 people were on and off there. We averaged like between 60 and 80 people all the time on there, just on there. The, you know, there, but people come on, they drop off. Like you might get on there and be on there for 30 minutes and then you leave and you go to dinner, you watch right. the shows. But, but my, so at the end of the night, it shows you, or at the end of your session, anytime you get out of it, it says, here's how many people basically viewed it for at least a minute or two. Right. But here's my point in saying that about TikTok. Most people think that TikTok's all for videos, for dancing, for acting stupid. And and yes, it is. The, the videos are funny, are, you know, it it is kind of for that. But we've been using it to try to um, 
like Jeff said, brand ourselves, A. And B, we didn't realize this was going to happen when we started doing these live videos on TikTok, but we've created this little family, and it is so neat because if we don't come on, they will start messaging us. Some of them have added us on, um, you know, Facebook or Snapchat or Instagram. They'll message us like... And there's a messaging are, within TikTok, are, too. Yeah, or on TikTok. Are you all going live tonight? We just love it. Like, it's you, you make us happy. We love watching you. It, you know, you make our days better. So we're getting all these positive feedbacks because we do go on there and we try to stay away from the C word and the Q word. And we do have fun. We make people laugh. And that's, that's what I think the cool thing about TikTok is. So now they're expecting us to be there. Well, shoot, we've been doing it a couple weeks now, and we do it almost every night. And I've been doing it in the morning just like a, while, I'm, while I'm catching up, just getting my day started with coffee and some emails or whatever. I just talk to people, um, and I have the video on. And, I mean, I counted up, like, the other night while we were sitting there. I was trying to write down names of people that are on there every single day. Right. That we see on our TikTok. It's part of our little family. Every single day. The, the Run fam. And... It's over, it's like between 28 and 32 people. That was two or three days ago. I know, we need to write, I need to write them I down I mean, that's too. like, that's a lot of people that literally tune in to chat with us every day. And most of the time we're, we're together. Like if I'm on mine, like tonight I put it on live while I grilled. And so she's talking to them and I'm talking to them and they're, they're chiming in and we've got, you know, we just, and it's funny, some of these people, you have no idea what they look like. Right. Because you go to their page and it's just they don't have any content and they don't have a profile picture, so you don't know, and that's okay. There's all sorts of different walks of life that we've met um, from all over the world, um, really. Uh, Hungary, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, Ireland. Listen, Ireland. let me tell you this story about this Irish guy. He jumps on there, and uh, we start getting to know him, and comes to find out he's 17. Now, normally on our lives, we try to have 18 and over, but we will make an exception if the, per, if the, if the, they seem mature, if the high school kid seems mature and is not acting stupid and you know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, Brooke comes on our lives sometimes when she's 16, uh, but we know she can handle it as well. We don't go too crazy, but you know what I'm saying? Sure. Well, anyway, she got on my live and so this kid was asking about her. Well, anyway, he added her on Snap and now they're, they're friends now. And they would have never... It's really cool, you know? Yeah, it it's, is. It's really, really cool. So it if is. you don't have a TikTok, I encourage you to get it, especially at a time like this when, A, you have a little bit more free time on your hand, and B, you need to fill that free time with some positive, funny, laughing stuff, for a lack of a better word. Um, whether you follow us on there or not, I really highly encourage you to get one because, yes, you're going to find some stupid, annoying, dumb stuff that you're not interested in, but you're going to run across. Yeah. I've, I've not laughed so hard. And then you might start making the videos with your kids or with your spouse. And it's just, it's really kind of cool. I don't know why I didn't mean to get off on TikTok again, but I just did. My whole point was today when I went live, I have my normal time slot that I've had. I went to a different area of the house to do it. And everybody's like, wait, where are you? Where, where'd you go? And it, because I've, I, I'm, I'm such a creature of habit that I do my, right. my videos in the same spot all the time. It threw me off too. When well, I jumped and on. I'd never sit. Are there areas in your house where you never sit? You get a whole different perspective on your house. I sat in the dining room today and I looked out my dining room window and I was watching people run by and like people walk their dogs. It's kind of nice. It's kind of cool. To sit in a different spot and get a different feel. Soon, whoa, soon you'll be able to sit on the deck. Yes, I can't wait. Which will be nice. We'll we sat out on the deck the other day. It was nice. And I think Thursday it's going to be nice. So I'll probably be out there all day if I can be. Just to soak in some sun and get some vitamin D. So you anyway. Get some vitamin D, some vitamin C. Sorry, I've been talking a lot, Jeff. I've taken No, it's good. We, we, we kind of just jumped on here tonight just to be, you know, random. The last one I think that we posted was random runions. This one is going to be who knows what, but yeah, we're just we just want to get on because it's a different time. It's crazy, crazy stuff going on, and we're yeah. just uh, trying to keep, trying to keep everybody's minds off of it and healthy and have a good time. See somebody just ran by. I know there? he was looking up here. He's like, "What are those people doing?" I know. We're Hello, podcasting. would you like to podcast from our driveway? Runyon's in the closet. Have a guess. Um, like in their closet. You know what? Listen here, boy. Uh, so, yeah, that's that. Um, in other news, what's happening? What else is happening? It's happening. Well, there's no sports. We already know this. That sucks. Um, other than that, 
just work, you know, work's moving along for me. Well, yeah, for I'm, you, it's so, going to be this I'm week. so glad that you have a job where you can still get paid. I, on the other hand, do not. I'm out of work until all this happens, unless I can get the virtual stuff going and people will continue to pay me. You'll get the virtual stuff which going. Which I need. People can do virtual. You can, you've got all the tools now, fortunately, to where you can do a Zoom or FaceTime with clients. And even if they don't have equipment, you're pretty good with, you know. Oh, sure. Sure, sure, body sure. weight exercises and that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. So I have complete confidence that you'll... A well, good percentage you. of your people, what you'll be able to still work with. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, just a little different, but it's okay. Um, I'm sure Butch's place is tough right now because, you know, the, you, you, the last thing you want to be doing is rolling around with somebody. Oh, well, there's no way he has to shut down. He's a gym. Oh, a I, know, general I know he's yeah. shut down, but I'm just saying that all the jujitsu people that are jujitsu guys around the freaking country are just dying right now, probably. Probably. Um, I just was yawning. Sorry. He's getting his run in. Our neighbors are running. Was they, that what's his face that walks the dogs? I don't know who what's his face that walks the dogs is. That works with uh, Nicole's husband. Who? We saw him walking the dogs earlier when we came in blind. He's, he's, Who's he's working on his yard with the sleeves out. Oh, yeah. Who's Nicole? Nicole Which... Robinson. He works with... Her husband. Really? Yeah, they told us that when we got here last time. When we piped, when they, when I didn't they know that over. was him. I didn't know that was him. They said they talked to him. Yeah, that's him. I got you. Yeah. There you go, people. How about small that? Small world we live in here in Charleston, West Virginia. It is a very small, small, wonderful world. That we live in. I'm very sleepy. I shouldn't be. I'm getting so much rest. I feel I, like it can it can backfire on you. It might because I might need to start setting my alarm for a little bit earlier, like at least getting up at like at eight. Versus I got up at almost nine today. Almost nine. Yeah, I mean it was almost it's pushing nine. That's true. It was uh yeah it was a later morning. What was um we're trying to get we we're trying to get some guests on lined up for this week. Yes. So we can keep the guest train rolling. Well, tomorrow's going to be coming on. Tamar Slay, he'll be on. He 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 messaged me. He wanted to come on this week, maybe. I need to double check on that. Why don't I just send him a message right now? Tamar Slay played in the NBA, played in Italy. Uh, now is with the NBA Players Association and works with several teams. That will be a good podcast. Well, and he also owns his own basketball, Tamar Slay Basketball, and he does camps for kids. That's really cool as well. Um, I think Margaret's supposed to be coming on. She's a... When is she supposed to be here? Let me look at my calendar. Anyway, oh, yeah, that was supposed to be this Wednesday, tomorrow. (laughs) No, not tomorrow. See, today's Monday. I, I get all my days mixed up. This week, so she'll probably help you back phone. But she's a local. Um, she's she does real estate around here. She's into Mary Kay. She's into fitness. So I and she's so much fun. Uh, so we're gonna have her on too. I think this week. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. That, well, not good. But there's benefits to being stuck at home. People people have more time to be with us. But even if they can't be in person. Yeah, we can do we can do um, just do it over the phone. It's always it's always fine to do it over the phone. We well, could even we could even see if they can get Zoom and do it where we can see them. Well, yeah, then we can at least see them. That would be cool. That's a great idea. I think but with we the do audio, that. could we could we get the audio and still be able to see the screen at the same time? Yeah, we would just have to make a platform for them up here. But you'd have to take your privacy screen off because we can't see anything. One of I us could would. do that. I could do that. Um, or we could just set you know we could set it like. What are you? Why are you looking that up on Urban Dictionary? I, I didn't search anything. I just pulled it up and I'm scrolling through. Oh. Um, There's a lot of new one. I think that that would be a great idea. So anyway, moving on. Sorry, I, I'm all over the place. Joey is sitting on top of your car. They love to get on the cars. Our cats are outdoor cats, and we are in our closet, and we have our our upside down curtains open so we can see out. And our cat Joey is perched up. So so perfectly on the top of Jeff's car. Like he is the king of the world right now. King of the world. He's the king of the world. Yeah, Joey. They're the buttholes, those cats. Look, he looked up here. You know we're talking about you. Oh, he can hear us. All right, here's what we're going to do for the last little bit here, people. What are we doing? Um, we'll look that up first. Bear with us. Bear with us, people. What are you doing? Um, 
I have no idea what he's doing, you guys. We never, we don't, we, we, I don't even know what these are, but I'm going to, we're going to read our horoscopes. Oh, we are? Do you know what your, yeah, do you know what your horoscope is? What do you mean? Do you know what your sign is? Aquarius. No, you're Capricorn. No, I'm not. I'm Aquarius. You're I've been Aquarius since the day I was born. Well, then you don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. Jeff, I'm an Aquarius. I've been an Aquarius all, then you're on the wrong thing. January 29th is Aquarius. What are the... Are we talking zodiac signs? What are you talking about? The 13 zodiac signs and dates. Capricorn, Ju- January 20th to February 16th. No, I Aquarius, am a- February 16th to March no, 11th. That's the wrong thing. Everything I've always looked up, I am an Aquarius 100%. That's a wrong site. Every time I've ever looked it up, I've been an Aquarius. People, we're going to have to look into this. I'm serious, Jeff. Okay, I- I'm going to Wikipedia. We're going to find out. What they are. All right, the Western Zodiac signs. This is weird. What are these and who came up with them and how? I know. And what, what, where are the It's dates? between January 21st and February 20th is Aquarius. Really? Yes. What am I then? I don't know. You look up your birthday. Um, okay. I don't know what site you were on, but that's wrong. <laughs> Date range January twentieth to February eighteenth. Every, every all right, we'll read it. Every site I'm on has said that. I don't know where you are. All right, well, let's read it. Okay, well, the my element, the Aquarius is element is air. Quality is fixed. Color is light blue or silver. Day is Saturday. Ruler is Uranus and Saturn. <laughs> Greatest overall compatibility. Ooh, see what you are is a Leo and Sagittarius. Sagittarius. How do you say that? Sagittarius? Sagittarius? Sagittarius. My lucky numbers are 4, 11. 4, 7, 11, 22, and 29. And the date range is January 20th to February 18th. Aquarius's traits are strengths are progressive, original, independent, and humanitarian. Weaknesses are runs from emotional expression. We are temperamental, uncompromising, and aloof. Okay. Aquarius is like fun with friends, helping others, fighting for causes, intellectual conversation, and a good listener. The dislikes are limitations, broken promises, being lonely, dull or boring situations, people who disagree with them. Mm. Which is true. Aquarius Mm. are shy and quiet. Nope. Uh, But on the other hand, they can be energetic and eccentric. However, in both cases, they are deep thinkers, highly intellectual people who love helping others. There's more. I'm not going to read this whole thing. What are you? Did you decide? Uh, yeah, I'm a Zodiac. That's not a sign. Oh, no, I'm not a Zodiac. Oh, Hold my on. gosh. You don't... You Taurus. Don't, I'm a Taurus. You're a Taurus. It says Taurus. You sure I, that's right? I don't right? know if that's right. Is that right? I don't know. Gemini? May, are you on that same site that gave you false information? I don't know. What site are you on? I've been on many sites that tell me the same thing. Um, it says I'm a Gemini. Okay, well, we're not May compatible. May 21st, Zodiac sign is Gemini. Okay, well, we're not compatible according to... Well, goodbye. <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, let's see here. May 21st, a Taurus or a Gemini? Question mark. My This this May, site I'm on says you are a, a, horse, a Gemini. You are May 21st. Okay, well, then you go with it. Because I like to use the same site. Your element is air. Your quality is mutable, which I don't know what that means. Your color is light green or yellow. Your day is Wednesday. Your ruler is Mercury. Oh, see, right here it says your overall compatibility is a Sagittarius, however you say that, or an Aquarius. Wonder why I... Yes. That doesn't make sense why Aquarius doesn't say that. That doesn't make sense. Your lucky number is 5, 7, 14, and 23. That's wrong. And your date range is May 21st, June 20th. Your strengths are gentle, affectionate, curious, adaptable, ability to learn quickly and exchange ideas. Your weaknesses are you're nervous, inconsistent, and indecisive. You like music, books, magazines, chats with nearly anyone. Short trips around the town. Your dislikes are being alone, being confined, repetition, and routine. Well, I, you know what this is? What? You know what's awesome about these horoscopes? Whoever put them together, they put a bunch of different qualities together that everybody's going to have. Some of them, right? Oh, yeah. So it's just your biggest, your greatest example of confirmation bias. Because our brain wants to, 
it wants to find things to prove what we want to believe. So if you want to believe in signs, you're going to easily be able to pull stuff that you believe because they give you so many options. Because, yeah, out of those, some of them, yeah, I am, and some of them, I'm absolutely not. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. Some of them I absolutely am, but... It says, expressive and quick-witted, Gemini represents two different personalities in one, and you'll never be sure which one you will face. They are sociable. That's untrue, right? Yeah. With me, like, you always... Oh, yeah, that's not you true. You know what I'm going to be They are sociable, the commun- communicative, and ready for fun, with a tendency to suddenly get serious, thoughtful, and restless. They are fascinated with the world itself, extremely curious, with a constant feeling that there is not enough time to experience everything they want to see. See, the first part of that is absolutely true. I am very curious, just like with our podcast and everything. I'm always digging a little deeper. Yes. But I'm not worried about time and not having enough of it. Right. So that's worry. that's your zodiac sign as a whole. Do you want to read your today today's horoscope for you? Yes, that's what All I right, want. All right, Gemini. Um... Today's horoscope. A, is today March 23rd? Today is March 23rd, Oh, wow. Yes. A foreign accent could be like music to your ears today, invoking exotic locals and reminding you that you need to plan a vacation. Because, but we can't right now. Whenever you get a taste of wanderlust, you should act on it. Poke around some travel websites, flipping through some travel magazines, and pull out your list of all the places you want to go someday. One place will call you out. Find out what time of the year is the best time to go visiting and get planning. You are right where you belong with a psychic love reading. Okay, don't know what that means. That all was the most ridiculous thing I've heard. I'm going to read mine. In a long, long time. Can I go read mine? Yes. Can I please? I want you to read I am trying to get there. I'm excited about it. I've clicked on Scorpio. That's not who I am. I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. Um, Okay. It's all in your head today. In other words, you can alter your reality by simply thinking differently. Feeling unattractive? Simply remind yourself that you are indeed very attractive and people will start seeing it. Worried you won't pass a test? Tell yourself that you'll do as well as you can. It's important to realize that your powers of positive thinking are just as strong as your powers of negative thinking. So try to switch your thinking around. You are right where you belong with a psychic love reading. I don't know what that means. We both are right where we belong with a psychic uh-huh. love reading. Uh-huh. So, you know what? What? That's great advice. Let's read Let's read couples love. Okay, so it says read more Aquarius horoscopes couples love. Ooh, you want to read this? Wait, I want to go back and read the sex scope. Oh, I like it. Okay, let's read that. Angie's getting exciting. She's getting exotic. Well, it didn't go. It didn't do anything. What is it? It's just... I clicked it. Oh, something's happening. Month of March. Um, There's a sex scope? Honesty is the best policy. Is always solid life advice, especially this month. Your latest love affair isn't as hot as it used to be, huh? When Mercury turns something in your sign and Venus enters Taurus on March 4th, be honest. What? Ghosting is easy, but it can bring bad dating karma. Take a self-care day when the moon is full. Whatever. Whatever. You need to sort out your feelings is basically what I'm saying. This is a lot more boring than I thought. I know. I, I don't understand it. I don't. I don't, I don't understand I'm it. Not, I'm not down with the sex scope. I thought it was going to be really I thought fun. it was going to be fun. I was going to be like, oh, that's cool. That's monthly sex scope? That's not fun. That was lame. That was I totally could. You lame. know what? I'm going to start a King Hefe's sex scope. Daily sex scope. What about a couple's love? Your partner could limit your choices today in, in a way that rankles you. What? Of course, they just talk normal. But try to be a good sport about it. Relationships involve compromise, and this time it's your turn to give something up. Yeah, baby. Give it up. I don't know. That's what that is. Well, the couple scope and the sex scope were pretty lame. No, and this is just from one, you know what I mean. What did we say you were, Gemini? I'm a Gemini. We can give it another chance. Let's read your couple's love. You are stressed, Gemini. That's what it says. That's a sex scope. You're so busy with your responsibilities that you don't even have time to think about sex. That's bull. That right there is bull crap. I'm calling, but just 
That's that's bo- I can think about sex all the time. I don't care how many balls I have in the air, so to speak. I can think about sex. Go on. Um, someone could ask you for romantic advice when Mercury goes direct and there's a full moon in Virgo on the ninth. That's ninth's already passed. Oh man, I knew I something was. Ha- I felt it that day. If I felt you're, something going if on. If you've been in a dry spell lately, don't fret. Vesta enters your sign on March twenty first. Well, that's past two. Hold on, it says something about. By the new moon in Aries on the 24th, which is tomorrow, you'll have someone spectacular in your bed. <gasps> Try a new position when Mars enters Aquarius on March 30th. Damn it, this is going to be a good end of the month. <laughs> I'm so excited. To 24th is tomorrow, people. Someone exotic and exciting is going to share my bed with me. Um, i got to go back and read the so dates on the mine. 30th, things are going to get really crazy. So... You know what? I suddenly believe in this this Hold on. this woo woo stuff. Let's see. What does mine say? I like that. See, when mine Mars was fun. enters your sign on March thirtieth, have a quiet day and chill with your lover, watching some movies. So we're not going to be doing the same thing on March thirtieth, apparently. <laughs> Maybe after we're done, we'll do that. Maybe that's what they mean. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so funny. Oh, well, I don't know where all Mine that came from. Mine was actually sexual. Yours was like... I, yeah, it was weird, hey, right? Hey, Aquarius, you're lame and you don't even like sex. Right? Right now I'm so busy, I just can't think about it. Here's here's what it says for April. Just to give you a little look ahead on Aquarius' sex so- scope, you aren't, you aren't one to jump into bed with just anyone, Aquarius. You prefer to be friends with someone first before sleeping with them. However, your libido will control you when Venus enters Gemini on April 3rd. Don't hop into bed with a stranger. The full moon and Libra on the 7th will bring a lover to you. Unleash your inner sexual animal. What's this? I just wanted to look ahead. I don't like that. (laughs) I don't like that. Is this for people that are single that are that are like looking for something? I don't know, man. I'm just reading what it says. I'm just reading what. So it watch says. her. We got to watch her close on April third and seventh. Yeah, y'all, yeah. You better be careful with me. But it might be me. Maybe I'm going to be the exciting lover. Maybe, Maybe it'll be me. Maybe. Maybe for once, I'll bring some 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 snazzy jazz. You're to this you're picture. April. Just the beginning before we shut this down. The month of April. You're be, you're bringing sexy back, Gemini. Thanks to Venus entering your sign on April 3rd. Your sex drive is high, and you won't stop until you get satisfaction in every sense of the word. After a long winter, you're ready to flirt and not be tied down to just one person. Unless Bam. being Unless being tied down is what, is what your kink is. Don't let people shame you when Jupiter conjoins Pluto on the 4th. They're just jealous. These writers are great, man. They leave all, <laughs> you notice how they leave all options open? So, well, this is how it's going to be unless you choose to be this. <laughs> and if you choose to be this, then that's what it's going to be. Right? So there you go. So I'm going to get my flirt on in April. And I just can't hop in bed with anybody. No, because the third you can't. It's going to be hard, though, because the third, there's something that's going to enter something. A Mercury is going to enter a P- Venus... Yeah. And then I think it's going to do it again on the 7th. So the 3rd, got to really resist it because I'm st- really going to bring you I want to see who's going to show up in your bed tomorrow is what I want to know. That's what it said. The 24th. I'm excited. We can't even go anywhere. We can't even do anything. Nobody's going to show up. They're not allowed in. Yeah, I'm scared of this virus. There's no non-essential like, people into my house. And she, I mean, if somebody kinky does show up, it's going to be really risky. It's going to be really exciting. Well, we need to test them. It'll be before. super exciting because that, that risk of possibly getting the Rona, and like getting raw with her, and maybe Ew. I'll get the Rona. Ew, don't say that. <laughs> That's d- Who says that? <laughs> That's just, where do you come up with these words that I had never heard before? Who do you hang out with? Who are your friends? Who are your friends? Who's influencing you? TikTok. I've never heard that on TikTok. I'm on TikTok too. Nobody influences me. I come up with my own. That I've never heard. If I want to get raw with her. I just threw it out there because I was thinking, you know, like getting, like getting, like, I don't know, like no protection, 
you could get some diseases or you could get you get something bad could happen to you so the excitement level's higher. Isn't that, isn't that how it works? I, yeah, but I mean, I never called it raw. Well, I apologize. It's all right. All right, are we done with this podcast here? We are. Everybody out there, enjoy your evening. We're done here. Yes, we are. Be safe. Bye.